All right, let's go ahead and call up Miss Boone's case. State of Florida versus Sarah Boone, 2020 CF 2603, State of Florida. Dean DeKenshi on behalf of the state. Defense. Frank Bankowitz. Let's go ahead and swear Miss Boone in. May you please raise your right hand to be sworn in. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Morning, ma'am. Tell me your name and your date of birth. Sarah Boone, October 10th, 1977. All right, we're here for pretrial conference today. Mr. Cacciatore, where do you stand in preparing to proceed forward to trial? State's ready, Your Honor. Mr. Bankwitz, where do you stand in regards to preparing for trial? I'm sorry, trial? the defense is not ready. We're requesting a continuance. Uh, we are having difficult time finding an expert who is willing to work for uh, the JAC rates. And um, so I'm still, uh, it's an essential part of the case, basically. It's never been uh, initiated before by any of the prior attorneys that I'm aware of. In broad terms, what's the nature, what's the field? Adam's spouse defense. Okay. Statutorily, we have to give the state notice uh, sufficient time and name of the expert and the essential elements that they'll be testifying to. Okay. Mr. Cacciatore, what's your position in regard to uh, the defense request for continuance? Um, I would have no objection to uh, another role. So, Mr. Bankwitz, how deeply have you plumbed the depths of the pool of experts in this field to, to find out um, or find one who's willing to work for the JAC rate? Well, I've actually talked to three, and uh, they don't have contracts with JAC and are not willing to work with JAC. Uh, and I, I've made some other <coughs> inroads uh, with... Uh, battered woman shelters, trying to get their psychologists, you know, who'd be willing. To, the problem is willing to testify, basically. Okay. Uh, because of the concern about the compensation rate for testimony? Well, that's one of the things. Uh, and to be honest with you, this case has had so much notoriety uh, that people don't want to be involved. Okay. <laughs> So, Mr. Bankers, I'm certainly willing to give you additional time based on my understanding of the case. I understand why that would be a defense the defense would want to explore about potentially presenting. What I'm not sure about is whether the inability to find an expert forever delays the trial of the case. I, I wouldn't expect it to be a forever delay, Judge. And you know me better than that. Mr. Cacciatore, well, I just want to make sure everyone in the room understood that, you know, I'll give reasonable amounts of time to prepare a defense. The defendant's entitled to an adequate defense, but they're not necessarily entitled to the exact defense they would prefer to have if resources were unlimited. So, uh, Mr. Cacciatore, remind me, where are we as far as lining up your various homicide cases for trial? I know we have some things set to go to trial in the June trial period. Yes, we have both uh, Mr. Herlong and right. Mr. Sowell set for then. Um, and then as far as this trial period, we have Mr. Hall and potentially Mr. Ofori as well. Um, if I could uh, ask of the defense, um, because I think it would make a difference in the timing of the continuance in, in this case. Does the defense intend to hire an expert to testify generally as to the, the precepts and the, the things that go along with battered spouse syndrome, or do they intend to hire an expert that will evaluate Mrs. Boone and want to comment on her directly and the reason I ask that is because I think the case law is clear that if it's the, the latter thing, then the state is entitled 
to have her sit down with their with our own expert to be evaluated as well. So that would obviously take more time if that is going to be uh, the, the path they're going to go. Mr. Banquets, are you in a position number to two is Number two is definitely what we're looking at, Judge. Although it, it number one is would be incorporated in that yeah. as far as their general ability and their you know expertise in the area. Would, would you agree that if, in fact, you retain an expert and they're going to opine specifically on Ms. Boone's state of mind at the time of the incident, that that opens the door for the state to oh, most have definitely. an expert? All right. Most definitely. So here's what I am. And, Mr. Cashel, let me ask you this. Let's say that that turns out not to be an issue. We're not going to have two experts. How long would it otherwise take you to present your case? Just rough idea. I would say three days. And other than this potential defense, Mr. Bankowitz, and is that including jury selection, Mr. Cacciatore? Uh, no, uh, well, I, I, probably three and a half days with jury okay. selection. All right. And Mr. Bankowitz, uh, other than this potential defense, if the state if we picked a jury in one day, the state presented their case in two and a half days, how long do you anticipate a defense presentation would be at this point? I would point? say at least three days. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Uh, I'll grant the continuance. I'm thinking continuing out to the July 11th pretrial, July 24th trial period. Um, how long is that trial period, Judge? I have a time certain death penalty case in Lake County uh, starting the second week in August. That's a three week trial period. So it would be the week starting Monday, July 24th, uh, Monday, July 31st. And then the last week of the trial period would be Monday, August 7th. That's when I'm scheduled to start picking a jury hmm. in Lake County. Well, Let's do this. I want to set it for that date. That way you'll have a much better idea of what's actually happening on your death penalty case in Lake County. I understand that those are their priority cases, but I also know that they're the cases where if a problem comes up, a judge is, no matter what a judge has said before, they're likely to allow the case to move because they don't want to try it twice. Just to advise the court, this case had to be continued at the last minute uh, because of one of the attorney's uh, wives had basically had a stroke. And so you know, there was, it was a week before we were scheduled to start in that case. But right. uh, Judge Davis up there, uh, now that that has, I won't say resolved itself, but it is in a better position, Judge Davis has advised all of us that we're going, get quote, come hell or high water. See, I try not to say things like that because I feel like I'm just tempting well, fate. Well, that's just Lake County, Judge. What do you expect? Well, having never worked there, it, it means nothing to me. So uh, July, I'll grant the change, July 11th pretrial, July 24th trial period, uh, and let's go ahead and do this. While I'm giving July 11th of the date, let's go ahead and have the lawyers reach out to my judicial assistant and just like we did this time, schedule a status, a, a status separate, unique date for pretrial so that I have, uh, y'all have my undivided attention when we talk about the case. I don't have 97 other lawyers tapping their fingers waiting to uh, get to me. Sounds good, Judge. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right, Ms. Boone, we return to the Orange County Jail pending further order of the court. And Mr. Banquets, you can electronically file the motion to continue. Yes, sir, we will. And the court will say it's granted. All right. Thank you, Judge. Have a good day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.